Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything about motion warping. So, for example, in here, if I play this, you can see it's it's a basic movement with the character. And if I hit C on my keyboard, it will slide and it will go to the next position, right? And with motion warping, we can change the position that we want to go. So, for example, in here, I say thousand um, unit ahead of us like this and compile and run and know it will go thousand unit ahead of the, our character again if we change it to 2000 with motion warping it will do everything for us so again let's just compile and in here you can see it work exactly 2000 meter ahead of our character and you can see it's beautiful so let me show you how you can use this motion warping for whatever animation you have so first of all you should know that i did download this animation sequence if you double click on it let me open it here and you can see this animation i did download and if you go to asset detail you can see i did enable uh, root motion right so it has some root motion and this root motion is important for motion warping so if you don't know how to add this root bone to this mixemo animation that has root motion just watch my last video about how you can add root bone to your animation uh, so no with this we should enable root motion okay so it will be in place I play the animation in place so uh, now we have this animation sequence that works fine for us right so and this is a our character that i call it motion warp character and if we play it you can see it's just a simple character with t pose it can go left and right and look at re left and right and some simple movement right nothing uh nothing to it we have this we have this animation sequence as well so first thing to do you should go to edit go to plugin and in here search for motion warping okay this motion warping right now is as experimental but it works fine so let's just enable it and when you enable it just restart unreal engine and when you restart it go to your content browser and right click on your animation sequence because we want to use animation montages to use this slide effect right click on it go to create and create any montage okay so this one i want to call it a slide montage okay so if you double click on it it will it will be open and you can see it the animation montage it exactly like animation sequence but we can add some stuff to it right so the important thing in here to make sure that we have this root bone not hips at the top it should root, be root bone there right so we have this animation montage and first thing that I'm gonna do, let's just pause this animation for now. In here, in notifiers, in here, right click, add a notify a statement and in here, click on motion warping. And it will add these two time in here and the, this track in here. Hold shift and click on here until it wanna it wanna get up right we want it to be here because we want to warp all the way in here for 100 meter 10 meter 20 meter or whatever we want now again hold shift and select this first one and choose the f the first in here that it start sliding so in this motion warping from one to one to two that you can see in here we wanted to slide for 100 meter 2 meter 50 meter or whatever we want so with this motion warping if we click on it in details panel we should change the root motion modifier from the non to sq warp okay and now it will tell us to choose a name i want to change the name to a slide 
and with this slide we can tell it to a slide for 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter it's just a it's just like a variable next this uh, warp point and provider just click on none you don't need to change that and what i want to do in here i just warp the translation the location of our uh, character right and i don't and i want to ignore the z-axis and i don't want to warp the rotation okay everything cool just warp translation everything is cool with that and i don't think that we should change anything else just hit save now we have the any montage that we want now in our character class in here first thing to do you should click on this add and search for motion warping okay this motion warping and <laughs> you don't need to do anything with that so let's just compile and in here for example whenever we hit c on our keyboard whenever we hit c on our keyboard we want to slide right so in here first thing to do i want to get this motion warping and add a point to it so let me first add it and i will explain it add or update warp target and what is this warp target if we open up the anim montage that we just create it will open up in this screen and if we click on this motion warping you can see the warp target name and we need this name so let's just copy it and in here again in this motion warping that we get from here if we say add or update warp target we want to add or update warp target from location okay because we need to warp through this location we want to go to this location right so first of all let's just uh, add this execution pin to here and it tell you warp target name that is a slide that we just copy and paste from any montage in here this slide and no it it need it need a target location so we can put something out there to tell it to warp to this or a slide to this location what i want to do i want to get the capsule component in here for example and i want to get forward vector <laughs> i want to tell it to a slide for 200 meter ahead of you right i want to do that and again from this capsule i want to say get world world location first of all i want to multiply this multiply this for example 1000 right i want a slide for 1000 ahead of our character and after that we can just add it to for the location of our character now we have this location that we can set it in here now that we update this warp target in here we can play our montage so we say play montage okay so with this with this play montage first of all we should give it the skeletal mesh like this let's just put it here and after that the montage that we want to play that is a slide montage know that we add this play montage node go to mesh and you can see there is anim class already uh, set in here in animation let's just find it double click on it to open it and in here what i did i just add an, a slot in here so for example right click in here in your animation blueprint of course you have an animation blueprint um, already before this result you can right click and in here say a slot default for example because in our any montage we did use the default slot you can see the slot is default slot so with this default slot we can run our animation okay so now everything is cool and if we run our game hit c on our keyboard it will slide to that location that we want and let's just change that for 10,000, right? So let's see if it's working or not. Now, if we hit C on our keyboard, you can see it, it fall off of our plane, right? So you don't need to change it that much. If you put it 500, for example, 
it will work again so let's see and you can see it is beautiful thank you thank you thank you very much for watching i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye